live from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Kansas City Royals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, first pitch coming up, showing the slab in today's game. Cole Reagans. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. You look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. That pitch in for a strike, and this one is off and running. Left hand batter waits. That missed. That's a ball. Late on that fastball. A one two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Struck him out looking. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. The lefty, the 1 0. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. And that's in for a strike. The 1 2. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning. Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve. Pulls it down to third, and that ends the inning. The Guardians go down in order. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Kansas City and on the mound today Tanner Bybee tell us about him in that sub three ERA Siggy. Well anytime you can keep your ERA under three you're doing a lot of things right and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well and he's doing tremendous out there on the mound every time he gets the ball you expect him to go out there and dominate and that's what he's been to this point we'll see how he is today bottom of the first here's the rookie third baseman number 11. Lined, and that's a base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. And the ball. first pitch misses for ball one. One and out. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. That one misses. Ball. Two balls and a strike. Just oh, off the nothing. outside part of the plate. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. 
He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. High fly ball out towards left field. Quan going back, racing back some more. Turning and looking, and it's gone. Salvador Perez leaves the yard, and they tack on three. It's 3-0. Three he only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it. And next up for the Royals, M.J. Melendez. In there, and it's 0-1 can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Right-hander kicks, deals. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and he's on it first. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So now here's the DH. Nelson Velasquez. Ball one, no strikes. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Here comes a pitch. The pitch. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Throw. Save. And now the count oh. is even. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches that to even that count up. The two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Michael Massey now at the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. And the right-hander deals. There's a high chopper. Gathers and throws to first. And now two gone. Batting the seventh field. And now it's Kyle Isbell. There's a strike. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Oh, and one now. Yeehaw. An at-bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Melendez at third with two away. Goes down looking. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. Top of the second. Here's Cole Calhoun. Cole Calhoun.
Reagan's back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. A 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. Next pitch ball. inside. Ball two. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. And that one lifted in the air center field. And there's one down. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that has a reputation for being yeah. Fergalicious. Yes, and, you know, Andre whatever. <laughs> Fergalicious. Andres Jimenez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch is downstairs. One and one. One down, base is empty. And now two and two. He wanted that fastball high Number and tight, two. looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. On the ground to third. Gets it to first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. That is it. The right field. Will. Two outs, bases empty. Will Brennan, the next to hit. First offering oh, misses the mark. And yeah, there's a the ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And now it's even up. Stays alive. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. They trail it here, 3 0. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, bottom half of inning number two, and stepping in is the speedy Dyron Blanco. The wind of the pitch. That's in for a strike. Singh, he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. And the pitch. One and two. Got him. One gone here. Here's Nick Prado. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. And the 1 0 no, misses that's low. It. That's the ball. Two balls, no strikes. In the air, left field. Quan settles underneath it. Two down. Up next to the Royals, the third baseman. So the lineup flips over. And the batter down. Number 11. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single.
Ball one oh. there. The guy at the plate could recognize ball, slider right. out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And that one fouled off. The one one. Swings through that. A strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Swing and a bouncer. Ramirez on the run, sends it over to first. That's the inning. KC down in order, but they lead it 3 0. Welcome back. On to the third Leave inning. The and here's the rookie catcher, the Bo catcher. Naylor. Bo Naylor. Naylor measures six feet even, hitting seventh in today's lineup. And he was born in Canada. That pitch gets the inside corner. That's strike one. 0 oh, and 2 as he waves okay. at that one. And that's the strikeout looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Straw. Miles Straw digs in for the Guardians. That one the other way, and it's caught for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Next up, it's the first-year shortstop, Jose Tena. And that's in there for strike one. And that's in the dirt. One and one. The one and one. And a foul ball left side. The one two. And another and ball. Two two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Guardians go down one, two, three. Still down three, nothing. Back here in Kansas City, here's a speed threat. Bobby Witt Jr. That's your stop. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. And that one nope, just ball. misses a ball and no strikes. There's a strike. And he deals. Next offering is outside. That one drifts inside. And that's ball nope, four. Ball four. Take your base. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. He's already homered in this one. Perez getting the start at catcher, 32 years old, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. And, the pitch. One ball, one strike. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. 1-1 now. That clips the corner. 
Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. MJ Melendez getting ready to hit. Reached on an infield single his first time. Pitch out, but no action. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Witt around second into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. And now Nelson Velasquez. And that one pulled foul. First and third, one down. Going to count one, one and two. Ball, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. At the belt and fires. And it's even up. That's two a ball. good take. Two balls, two strikes. Just inside, and now it is filled up. It's really tightened up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Three and two now. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's the second baseman, Michael Massey. And the first One offering is not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Left hand hitter waits. There's a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Trevor Steffen up and throwing for Terry Francona. Morgan getting loose as well. One out, base is full. The 1 1 is fouled off. One two now. Yeah, the one no, two that, misses that's, that's to ball. even the count. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Struck him out swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Now at the plate, Kyle Isbell. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. Well, it stinks to be down by, you know, these runs early in this ballgame like this, but you've got two outs. You've got to close the door because you still have a chance with how much time is left in this one. Yeehaw. Clips the corner, and the count even at 1. On the ground, right side. Naylor takes it himself, and that is the inning. Royals wind up leaving them loaded, but they lead it 3 nothing. Start of the fourth. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Quad. 
Steve. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, to try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. He goes down looking. Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Third base, Jose Ramirez. Here's Jose Ramirez. A switch hitter batting right. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And here it comes. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. The first base is number 22. That pretty much split John. the zone down the middle, Ooh. and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. One gone runner at first. Josh Naylor will hit next. Runner. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Come on, and that's a stolen base, not even close. Ramirez leads off second with one gone in the inning. Ground ball right side, and it's through for a hit. Blanco fires it to the plate, and he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Comes through with the RBI. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Runner on at first with one gone. Next is the designated hitter, Cole Calhoun. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch just misses. That one at the knees for a strike. The 1-1 one, one oh, is upstairs. 2-1. and one. Oh, And that one is in for a strike. Two, two. Pitch misses Full inside. Count. Full count now. Kicks and fires. Good job to fight that one off. Kicks and deals. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Here's Andres Jimenez. First time up, he grounded to third. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, in an 0 0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. That one pushed foul. And a curve is down and in. 0 2 count, you got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. And now it's one and two. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next oh. offering is downstairs. Will okay. Brennan in the on deck circle.
And a pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Right Will. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. His first at bat was a strikeout. That's a strike. It's 0 and 1. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Late swing, foul to the left. Two outs. Caught him looking for the K. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Dyrone Blanco. Yeah, the right hander back to work. On the ground to short. Yet he beats the throw. He's safe. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. Bravo. Man at first. And to the plate for Kansas City. Nick Prado. He's 0 for 1. Move over to first. Trying to keep him close. On the ground right side, four, six, three, and they turn the double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Number 11 Good. in the box again takes a strike. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And puts the squeeze on that. And that's the inning. Ready now for the fifth inning. Off, Stepping for up for the Guardians. The Bo Cat -Cat. Naylor. Bo Naylor. Reagans back to work. Out to short. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Now that the set of you. My own straw. And now here is Miles Straw. He's over one. First offering, and it just misses. Naylor gets his lead at first with nobody out. Up and in, two and oh. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. And this is inside. Jose Tena up next. Three oh down. And that's through there for a strike. There's ball four. 
He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. First and second, no outs. Jose Tena digs in for the Guardians. And there's the strike. Oh, they're willing to give up and out here. This is a big spot, so you have to make it count. No outs, runners at first and second. Trying to move the runners over. Throw over to Prado, and that's an out on the sacrifice. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Lifted in the air, right field. Blanco snags it for the second out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now it's Jose Ramirez. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Isbell has this one sized up and makes the play and that's out number three a lot of adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning and welcome back bottom of the we inning so up now for kansas city bobby witt jr bobby. if you don't get ahead in the count you can forget about having any success against him the right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Going one. Well, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. And there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. That's about no, as textbook no, no, no. as it gets. Got his stride no, no, load no, no, no. out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. He's already homered here in this one. And he's back safely. Ball one low. Runner on the go. Back to the mound. Fires over to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now back, left MJ Melendez now at the plate. Off the mark wow. there, and that's ball one. Witt, the runner at second with one away. Next pitch is outside, and the count is 2-0. and oh. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 -oh counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that, but ultimately this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. The pitch. pitch now front pulls that one foul now it's three and two runner at second here one gone the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four he just hasn't had great command of his pitches in this now one definitely more walks than you'd like to see so up next Nelson Velasquez Let's go, 
in there and it's 0-1. 0-1. Good eye right Ball. there. One one. The next pitch Ball. misses and a count two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And he deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Good eye well, right there. Got a full count. Runners at first and second with one gone. Ground ball left side could be two. Fires to second for one. Over to first, but it's offline. Well, they had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Royals strand a pair as the lead remains 3-1. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now it's Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that's in for a strike. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Brad Keller getting ready to go. Marsh getting cranked up as well. The 0 1. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. That's the third, and that one handled. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now it's the DH, Cole Calhoun. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. In the air out to center, Isbell drifts towards it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now battle. The second base. And up next for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. One for two. Jimenez, 24 years old, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. Now one and one. One and one. Just no, off the inside down. edge. Next pitch is outside. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Bounce to the right side. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the lefty status. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. First pitch, and he just misses. Snap throw to first. Jimenez back in on a dive. 
Jimenez leads off first with two down to the inning. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. The 1 0. And that's too high. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Checks over to first, back safely. On the ground and foul ball. The two one. Bo Naylor waiting for a turn at the plate. Here comes a pitch. And he walked it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Bo Naylor at the plate now. And first offering is fouled off. First and second, two down. And that one sliced foul. The pitch. One, two. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Lifted in the air, right center field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that'll do it. Two left on. Seven, eight, nine, due up in the home half of the inning. It's the Royals three and the Guardians one. Logan Allen gets the ball now. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. And now the center fielder, go, Kyle yeah. Isbell. The center fielder, Kyle Isbell. And a pitch. That's in for a strike. Allen, in his rookie season, he features a changeup, a two seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. And it's one and one. Oh, The wind of the pitch. The punch out there. One away, bottom of the sixth. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Dyrone Blanco. In there for strike one. No ball, one strike. Good eye in that spot. Ball to strike. And that clips the inside corner. Check swing. No appeal. Now two and two. The wind of the pitch. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a pop-up. Ramirez settles under it. Pulls it in for the out. Now batter. The first base. Nick. Nick Prado wow. steps in for the Royals. He 
edge of the zone for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. That one ripped right center field. Banks off the wall. And that's a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Number 11, the next to hit, one for three. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And now the lefty just missed. Ground ball to the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Inning over. Royals lead one, but they still lead it 3 1. Brad Keller gets handed the rock out of the pen, and he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Number 56, Brad Keller. Miles Straw digs in now. The center fielder, number seven, Miles Straw. And the pitch. Breaking yeah. ball in there for a strike. Pitching has been pretty oh, dominant yeah. in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Not a swing you want to watch again. Right-handed reliever. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 0-2. Line drive. Leaps and he's got it. Time to perfect. It's hard, I think, for those guys in the corners because, you know, especially when it's a you know right-handed hitter for third baseman, you don't see the ball all that well going through the zone. And... If it's a left-hander, you got a better shot at it because you can see the ball going through, see the contact. And so that jump isn't always on time. Sometimes it's a little early. Sometimes it's a little bit late. But that one was perfect. Fouled back our way, and that's out of play. Oh, one down. And a foul ball. And the 0 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Tried to hold up on the 0 2. Now a look down to third. No swing. And a 1 2. And that's downstairs and outside. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And the next pitch is way outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Two down. Now back left field, Stephen. Stephen Kwan will hit next. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. 
That one hit to right. Blanco under it. He's got it. And that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Royals three and the Guardians one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Trevor Steffen. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. And to the plate for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner into center. The pitch. You see the velocity 97 with that fastball. Righty to the plate. And a base hit right there. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Not Showed sure. a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball, he let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. And there's a ball. That's the ball. Wit aboard here at first with nobody out. Misses inside, and it's 2 0. Way high. Here's a 3 0. Top of the zone for a called strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Righty delivers. And he grounds one back up the middle. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone. And then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. M.J. Melendez. In there and it's 0-1. First and second here, no outs. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Make quick work of him right there, Siggy. I know that's the kind of that maybe leaves a lot of fans wondering, what was he doing up there, right? Yeah, and I get that. I mean, you take two straight strikes, then chase one way out of the zone. It's, it's just not a good at bat. It'll leave you shaking your head as a hitter, if not worse. But there's always going to be those trips to the plate where you're just lost up there, and that was one of them for sure. And yeah, the batter now, Nelson Velasquez. In there for strike one. And the right hander deals. And the pitch is outside. Oh. Ball one. One and one. Next offering is fouled back. Next one oh. misses. Two and two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. So first and second with two outs. And next up for the Royals, Michael Massey. Let's go. 
And takes Touchdown, low for ball, ball one. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Next pitch is inside. Two and one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The count two and one. And strike two. Two and two. Drive and that should be extra bases with around third. One run is in. Here comes Perez around third. Oh, the throw is wild. He scores all the way from first. A terrible job getting it back to the infield, and it cost them a run. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Eli Morgan takes over on the mound. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Kyle Isbell steps in for the Royals. First pitch that doesn't missed. find That's the ball. zone. Runner leads away at second. That just nope. misses. Ball. Two balls, no strikes. Down the line towards the corner. Brennan on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Royals five and the Guardians one. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, ready to begin the eighth, and now it's switch hitting third baseman Jose Ramirez. Keller back to work. Upstairs. Bullpen action for the Royals. Alec Marsh up and throwing. Coar warming up as well. And here it comes. Make it bad right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. Down the corner for a strike, and it's one and two. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's Josh Naylor. And the first oh, pitch misses ball. for ball one. That one ripped. That's back there. Gone. A towering shot to right. His 18th home run of the season. It's 5-2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Pitching change here. Taylor Clark. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 45. Taylor Clark. And next is the designated hitter, Cole Calhoun. 
First pitch just misses. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer is coming in. And that is in for a strike. And a count one and one. Now one missed. That's a really good take right there. Your Slider one, down one, and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. Oh, Way oh. inside. Gets out of the way. Full count. And that's ball this, four. Ball four. Take your base. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call oh, with that last easy. pitch. But neither that's happened. Close pitch, on but a good eight. take to earn that walk. Man at first with one gone. So in now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. And that misses no, off out. the outside edge. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. The 1-0. Got it started a little one too one. early. Strike one. At the belt and fires. And another oh. ball. 2-1. That one a little bit high. Three balls and a strike. Way Count out ball. front for strike two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 3 ball 2 ball. is Take off it. the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, now, now. So, first and second with one man gone. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. A strike really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count he's gonna have to continue finish off this hitter breaking ball one and inside one. and that is ball one yeah. and that's a strike well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. The next offering misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Checks his swing, now would appeal to third. No, he held up. Calhoun at second, Jimenez at first, one gone. And the tying run is on base. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Angel Serpa. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. And next is the Guardians catcher, Bo Naylor. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. That misses. That yeah, that's ball one. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here on your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three run lead, it should be a W. That catches the corner. 
Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. One runs in. Save. And now they trail by one. That's all he needed, just a simple base hit, and he drives in two in a huge spot. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And here is Miles Straw. And there's the strike. comes the one there's the swing and a miss it might be time to choke up a little bit get that front foot down early maybe even just spread out he's really late right now and one and two man oh man I don't know how you take that pitch that's as close as it gets got him two out So first and second with two outs. Jose Tena digs in for the Guardians. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Right side. Blanco under it. Brings it in. And that is the third out of the inning. They get three runs on two hits, one a solo homer. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Royals five and the Guardians four. Welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the right fielder, Dyrone Blanco. Blanco. The pitch. That's through there for a strike. And a foul ball. Going two now. And that one is inside ball one. The one two struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. So up now for Kansas City, Nick Prado drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. That one inside, ball one. That clips the inside corner for a strike. One, one way one. to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The wind and the pitch. And a ball the evens ball. the count. 2-2. Two, two. Bounce to the left side. Ramirez sends it to first. Two up, two down. Now, now third baseman, Mike Gary. Good. See ya. Number 11 steps in for the Royals. But when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy.
Not one close with that strike. one. And a count one and two. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make... Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Nothing doing for the Royals as they hold on to a 5-4 lead. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Carlos Hernandez. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. It's so important to stay within yourself, especially for this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter, he needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. The pitch. There's a strike. Oh, one. Next offering misses. One and one. The tying run at the plate. And it's fouled away. The one, two. Right through there. Got him. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Ramirez, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Pitch in for a strike. And one and one. The one one is fouled off. That one way outside. And that's ball two. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And it's oh. filled up. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Josh Naylor to bat next. Kicks and fires. And there's ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Josh Naylor now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. Foul ball there. The 0-1. Runner on the go. Swing and a miss. Throw tag out. What a throw by Salvador Perez. Oh, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Is just one strike away. And now right one and two. <laughs> Lifted in the air now the left side. And that'll fall for a base hit. So the tying run reaches with two away. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there, down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Now it'll be left up to Cole Calhoun. Off the mark there. 
And it's one to know. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. And a 1 0. Swinging a foul straight back. Next pitch downstairs, and it's two and one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. On the corner for a strike. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. the ball game when you win five in a row the confidence just goes to another level and you start to gain this momentum and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup pitchers are pitching guys are making the plays defensively this is the kind of feeling it's not going to last all season long but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can perhaps push it up to double digits close one here today and your final five four they hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.